Hello, it's Andy Graham with HoboTraveler.com. I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years and went to 101 countries. And I consider myself one of the most experienced digital nomad travelers on the planet. Um, you go to these British colonies, UK, United Kingdom, and you're going to find that Britain's got one of the most painful adapters on the planet. They got this. Uh, this square thing and it actually will only go into a plug one way. I'm actually in the country of Malta. I'm in the Hostel Malti and to get one of these to work you have to you put it in there like that. It's a very special one. These are probably switches too. You, you may have all sorts of setups to uh, to slow you down in a British country. I first learned this in England in the Barmy Mad Badger but uh, I'm going to show you how to bypass this system, this uh, British plug, with the, the, without having to buy the adapter. Okay, so sometimes you don't have this adapter, right? And what you want to do is plug in here, but you can't plug it in, right? Because this this is a like the I call it the German thing. This is most of Europe. This fits in most of Europe's plugs, and I've actually screwed on a uh, adapter on the end. I've, I've actually put this on the end of my um, you know American plug and what I'm going to do now is so I've got this all set up and taped on and what I do is I just push a pencil or a pen into this thing it wouldn't go in right before wouldn't go in so what I do is I push a pencil or a pen inside there, then push, and it goes in. What it does is there's a released valve in there and it needs to be pressed. Um, I'm in the Hostel Malti in Malta, and see I can take that out now and leave it plugged in. But I, I actually leave a, I have a very elaborate uh, uh, system here of, uh, you know, it's a, actually a four socket plug takes both the uh, European and American slot and these are just American ones and then I got uh, got the adapter on there but I wanted to show you in a simpler thing this is my uh, electrical outlet a four plug electrical outlet I put that in there then I put uh, I can plug in four things at the same time but uh, this is really all you need for Europe I think um, I wanted to show you also that uh, I guess you can actually buy an adapter. I, I just found this out the first time. This is a uh, thing I've actually I actually have a little thing that I carry often with me that just has this thing on there and I just plug it in. And cuz this is what you need. You don't really need this part, but you can actually buy these these little plates that will make it so you can bypass a British plug. So all you need to do, so you don't have to buy this uh, big old contraption. This this takes up a lot of space, guys. <laughs> okay, and uh, you really, I buy. I actually have three or four of these. I have four of these right now because I put one on each one of my devices. I got one on my uh, computer cord. I got one on my extension cord, which makes it allow so I can use my battery charger. Then I got one on my uh, s uh, smartphone, cell phone. So I, I, I have, an, and then I have an extra one, right? So it's not just having one adapter that makes sense. You really, this is where people really screw up in a way on the whole thing is they think that they just need one adapter and it's somehow going to do it. Then you're gonna, you can do that. You can have one adapter, but then you're going to have to have my extension cord to make so you have four outlet plugs. How many electrical devices do you have? Do you know? I mean, it's not just a one universal adapter. It's you need four of these universal adapters, and that just is doesn't work. <laughs> okay, Andy Graham, HoboTraveler.com. I've traveled nonstop. Uh, get on Hobo Traveler. The you can subscribe to the Hobo Traveler uh, videos on YouTube, or you can go to HoboTraveler.com and uh, click on Andy's blog, and then subscribe by putting your email on the side and get these things in your email every day and learn how to travel the world or have the uh, traveler's lifestyle. Andy Graham, HoboTraveler.com in uh, Malta.
let's 